kepemilikan yang berganggu persiapan ke Siti? Um, satunya kelajuan kita dalam masa terdekat ni adalah berhubung kait dengan walaupun banyak meeting perlu berlaku ni perlu berlaku due diligence and all that 25 ni pun apabila kita lawan pilihan kita tak boleh tangguh dengan tu produk terbesar dalam mana-mana kelab boleh sepak adalah bilik persalinan jika bilik persalinan dijaga setiap tahun 2 tahun sebelum ni di mana macam mana pun pasukan di atas padang telah melakukan apa yang mereka melakukan perlu dikekalkan dan ini berhubung kait apabila kita melakukan apa-apa dalam bola sepak ia sangat laju so bagi saya ia mengganggu jika of course apabila uh, welfare of the dressing room needs to be seen kerana itu kita melakukan dengan pantas untuk mendapatkan deposit bayar dan segala lah untuk memastikan kita teratur sebab last two years it's not been easy for KLZ kita dengan limited budget kita apa kita lakukan so bagi saya pentingnya perlu dilihat lah we have to sort, sort it out before the first game so that the dressing room can move on selari dengan pendirian AFC, MFL dengan FAM untuk semua pelab di swastakan dan satu saya perlu katakan di sini juga dalam bola sepak Malaysia tak ada buku panduan kalau kamu, kamu lihat dalam sejarah 30 tahun bola sepak Malaysia ada tak satu kelab yang boleh seorang kat sini bagi saya satu manual di mana pernah berjaya dengan korporat dengan FA tak pernah so we're trying to be someone who's trying trial, trial and error will happen kerana dengan apa yang kita lihat lebih banyak yang tutup daripada buka apabila persuastaan berlaku mahupun di bawah FA mahupun di bawah korporat the percentages will tell you this is track record So for something to succeed, KL City has based it on one thing, merit. Merit ni apa? Dua tahun sebelum tu, kalau kita tengok sejarah berbeza. Dua tahun selepas tu, kita melihat it's on meritocracy. You tanya Rinani, kenapa dia orang datang? Because we finish number two in Asia. If you don't part now, macam Mardi kata tadi, if our results don't go our way, you think you're going to get the same valuation? So for me, it's a call center at the moment. They are trying to make it viable. So bagi saya kita tak ada buku panduan, kita tak ada oh satu kelab ni pernah berjaya dapat profit ROI uh, dengan apa dia spend dan pelabur-pelabur daripada PLC, dia orang nak explain kepada shareholder mereka why are you taking a cost center which is 10 to 12 million loss from a business perspective, boleh sepak ni maybe the difference lah, uh, must have tapi nak explain kepada money man so there is no there is no blueprint, tak ada part way, so for me I think this is where we have to come in and try to help one club who's trying their best to make it viable. I'm just touching what the president has said. We're trying our best. For the last years, we've done our best to get the results, to grow the brand. And now someone has come in seriously to want to hold our hands to go further. So bagi saya di situlah, amat penting kita melihat dan peranan media juga untuk memastikan bahawa it's more positive towards for a club to be viable. Because what we don't want is another club closing down Because there is resistance, there is a sun, because there's no alternative. There's no alternative on the table. Dah 20 lebih bulan kita mencari alternatif. Tak ada. So that is where I think it's really important dengan hubung kait ni. Satunya kelajuan dia, 25th tak ada orang akan tangguh game kita. Okay, tunggu waktu kita ada meeting. Kena masukkan new orang dulu, bayar gaji, lepas tu kita main 27. Tak ada. The jadual tak akan ubah. We have to go in. And the dressing room has to be tip top. Because KL City has a good team. Hopefully they can mount a challenge like the last two years compete. So it's very important for the dressing room to have what it takes to be at their best mental state, conditioning, physiological to play the match. Under Boyan Huda. Ya yeah, kalau deal ni uh, jalan, ianya akan memberikan satu suntikan semangat yang baik, positive effect kepada dressing room kerana benda ni merupakan satu perkara yang kita bercerita sejak 2 tahun dah. Akhirnya ianya kalau tercapai maka player-player kita pun akan dapat semangat untuk uh, give dia best pasal dia tahu sekarang ini uh, dia tidak bergantung uh, pasukan bola sepak ataupun uh, ini uh, KL City ini tak bergantung kepada the whims and fancies of uh, the political Forces, ya. Kerana tahun dua tahun lepas kejap ada duit, kejap tak ada duit. Oleh kerana politik, ya. Tapi bila dah jadi uh, milik uh, syarikat uh, yang tersenarai di bursa saham, dia yakin bahawa uh, masa depan dia lebih terjamin dan ini akan memberikan suntikan yang positif ke arah uh, semangat untuk naik untuk uh, give dia best dan nilai dia akan uh, bertambah. 
dengan prestasi yang baik. Ya? So they see that uh, the rule of the meritocracy itu uh, berperanan. Ya? Bukan sekadar nak uh, dapat uh, gaji bulan saja, tetapi untuk nak menjayakan uh, ini usaha uh, ini uh, bola sepak sebagai satu negara. Untuk KCT ada launching jersey ini. Uh, kita kena launching by 22nd atau 23rd. We will be announcing by this week. Uh, kerana saya rasa ia berhubung kait dengan saya rasa kalau kita tengok 90% of the ecosystem hasn't uh, launched their jersey. Purely because jersey, sponsor kita is one of the main revenues. So the later but the stronger the sponsorship is kerana itu kita mengambil masa. Bukan pasal jersey itu dah sedia. Tapi whether who we do we put, who pays more. Kerana it's still one of our main revenue stream, so hopefully we can launch it by 22nd, 23rd. But the club will be announcing officially. Or, or is it still? I get top five. Yes, yes. Uh, I think the the, the also Rinani has put a target where they want to try and get to AFC uh, again because we did very well. We went to AFC. Uh, so saya rasa dengan target KLFA pun, presiden pun sedih menyatakan dengan tim yang ada. We should be doing better than the last two seasons, which is a very high KPI because we've done very well for the last two seasons. <laughs> uh, do you agree if I say last time when we talk about KL, it's all about bad team. Now yeah. people are talking about good team about KL since the last two years because we're doing well in the league. Also, we're being a giant uh, killer, and yeah. also now we can tell you play in the AFC. So, is it? Do you agree with my statement that you turn KL's players and management turn the, the story from that I mean, to produce? On now, you are, now you are now the investor are keen to put their money in. Betul. That's why we are keen with them because they have come on merit. Basically, they've seen the achievement. They have valued the club at what they value. Uh, kerana kejayaan yang dilakukan bukan based on anything, tapi the fact that we were number two in Asia, we won the Malaysia Cup, uh, we've been six two seasons consecutively uh, dekat Super League dan dia orang percaya bahawa KL punya perjalanan adalah at infancy stage banyak lagi room untuk improvement, banyak lagi plan mereka dengan expertise mereka yang mungkin kita di sini sedang membentuk the pillars, dia orang mempunyai uh, expertise mereka so I think it's on merit where it is but like President said Bola sepak ni berdasarkan satu benda yang bagus, yang bagus adalah you got to be consistent. As long as you're consistent, the brand will be trusted. Now KL City, I think what you, you touch upon, Fidaus, was it trusted prior to 2021? I don't know, I've played for this club. But I can say I, I didn't have that kind of uh, understanding and faith towards what is their target and intention. But for the last two years, I think we've managed to turn that around. For people to believe in the club has well intended, not consistency, and we will compete, and that's what we've done. We've compete in that compete. We have gone and won a cup. We've gone on to win Southeast Asian Champions of AFC and second place in the entire AFC Cup. So I think it's based on merit. So to to be merit, it's the hardest thing actually because you got to put the the team together. And everyone I think have seen us in our windows dalam uh, perpindahan tingkap. We are serious about it. We have improved where we were weak. Uh, Boy and I and and why we work closely. These are the areas that we need to strengthen. We've gone up to go and get these players. Now it's up to them and, and Boyan and us to work together to try to get the best out of the team. But we've done the best team means we're well intended. Now in corporate-wise or management-wise is where we need to make sure we secure. And this club might have a chance, a real chance of being a, a, a club that can compete as an elite club. That's what we're trying to give to the club. That's all our intentions are. Tak ada kita dah hakimi saya nak kata. <laughs> no, if Dayo was available, and then I got I got to know through the media that we were signing if Dayo, but we didn't know. <laughs> so I said no, we got hakimi. <laughs> tak ada kita dah hakimi. Uh, I think we've we've we've, we've done what we've, we've done. Added strength in the in the in the forward line because last two years we've been unlucky. Kita bawa seorang injured, so kali ini kita bawa dua. Tiga, empat, tak sabi. So whole season panjang, whole season satu pergi ada tiga lagi. Uh, rest, rest. Okay, okay. The whole point of it. Lah. So top five lah. Huh? Top five is all. Okay.
Alright. Top three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this this why my job is tough. <laughs> <laughs> we are pasal one in life yang kita the second most valuable hmm. thing hmm. is to touch upon the market environment of the football clubs lah. Hmm. Kita nampak lah. Hmm. Kita, all of you are very well versed. Hmm. Yang tahu, hujung tahu siapa yang bayar gaji, siapa tak bayar gaji. Yeah. Uh, siapa yang viable, siapa <laughs> tak viable. The percentages are ready to say. Hmm. So if you want to avoid what has happened in the past of 30 years of football sepak Malaysia, a club has to be given a chance to have a trial and error. That's why there's a 51-49, there's a reason for that. There's a lot of thought processes put in it. Can we balance it out? Boleh tak shoulders? The heavy shoulders can be... Is it can the, it? the failure of the other club before this is because of the 100% equity or...? But, susah nak kata. Tebab, sebab, boleh sepak Malaysia kalau kita kembali, the, the amount of teams yang tutup ni, daripada zaman saya main, yeah, team-team so. yang saya pernah main pun dah tutup. <laughs> so, um, yeah. ada yang corporate, ada yang FA. FA pun tutup. State government own team pun tutup. Dia sebaik-baiknya adalah rakan yang mempunyai kekuatan kewangan dan perniagaan sendiri yang mampu uh, menampung kos dan pada masa yang sama mencari jalan untuk menjadikan ianya perniagaan perniagaan yang dilakukan. So that's the kind of partner that we want. Partner that uh, we need to pay uh, by, the, by the chef. They have the, uh, need the financial strength. And they also have the, uh, the, 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 they know the way ahead, how to uh, make the, uh, the sports a uh, viable business. Okay. And, I, and I like to thank Rinani for being resilient. Bukan mudah, bila datang dekat dengan KL, kerana banyak yang perlu dilalui lah sebelum masuk. Dia macam, you know, the door open, dia bagi welcome in it. So, they are resilient lah. In the, their intention, they are well intended. Macam mana justifikasi financial strength? Dia orang public listed company, kat besar. All their financial statements are available. Lagi besar, you click saja. <laughs> click saja. So, semua ada full details. Tak boleh lagi. Maknanya dia boleh, dia sendiri ada kekuatan kewangan. Dia punya perniagaan yang dia sendiri. Yang kita tak nak adalah rakan yang tak ada apa-apa. Dia datang masuk, lepas tu dia nak menumpang tim ni untuk nak berniaga. Ha, ni yang menjadi rusak. Akhirnya bila dia tak dapat uh, duit yang mencukupi, hmm. maka dia akan slash the, the team. Uh, the slash the budget for the team. Lepas tu akhirnya team ni jadi team yang uh, cekat, uh, yeah, yang yeah, tidak yeah. Uh, tidak memerlukan banyak perbelanjaan dan dia masih dapat bisnes. Uh, tu yang kita tak nak. Yeah. Um, Stanley, uh, Dead City ada past musim for season ni? Ya, yeah, kita <laughs> nak. Thanks. Kita uh, sedang finalise the corporate boxes punya price. Uh, kita akan cuba launch the same day as uh, our jersey launching sekali di musim lepas. Tapi tahun ni premium sikit lah. Sikit lah. Sikit And, atas on merit lah, atas kerjaya kita premium sikit. Ya, yeah, itu untuk corporate box. Eh? Itu untuk corporate box. Corporate lah. box, B2. Oh. Uh, season pass kita B2. Oh. Uh, and uh, together with our jerseys. Hmm. Together with our jerseys. Uh, progress untuk nationalization process normal dan normal? Uh, saya rasa kita akan dapat dalam masa terdekat. Insya Allah. Dalam masa terdekat. Selepas ni, KSB ada national player, country player, keluarga ini, Malaysia ini tak jadi jadi kita boleh berubah. Tak adalah. Kita punya wawasan sebenarnya kalau kita melihat seperti Ryan dan Declan, uh, at the end dengan umur mereka, kalau besok saya nak tanya lah, kalau besok kat Asia Cup kita do very well Katakan yang kacukan no, ni semua, yes. yang mix blood ke kacukan lah eh I don't want to go to naturalization eh uh-huh. I just go to kacukan Kita bangga juga, kita akan celebrate Masa France menang World Cup tu, 2018 tu Walaupun <laughs> banyak jokes, France gave a public holiday and They tak bagi kat, uh, you know where lah, I'm saying lah, dia tak bagi kat sana They, they, they took the the the, the win. Uh, so it's under the record. But in football, I think that's unique lah because it's a very highly competi- uh, competition game because it's the largest played game in the world. So the competition is so high. Kalau you negara yang DNA tak ada, tak ada, tak, tak pernah pergi knock on the door of Asia Cup, World Cup selalu, you got to find ways lah. Um, but I still believe Kacukan is good enough lah to, 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 to go further than that lah. That's maybe my personal opinion. Thank <laughs> you.